What is going on guys? This is Anders Larsson and I'm trying something new. I created a post nine days ago on the Digital Point forum with the question, how does the pursuit of reward affect you or your audience? I want to encourage people to contribute their thoughts about how this will affect their marketing strategies, but also how it affects themselves. But anyway, I did this video because I watched another video about the constant pursuit of reward, how it triggers dopamine and you get this rush and excitement. It is like a drug. So I'm giving my take on these two questions. Before we dive into today's video, I want to make a short introduction. My name is Anders Larsson and I'm an online marketer from Sweden. What I do is helping people starting an online business using YouTube. And I have been doing this for over three years. And during that time, I have received a lot of experience and I'm using my experience to help people. However, I'm not all over the place. I don't know everything about online marketing. I only know how to do this in a certain way, the way I do it. And that is actually a good thing because I get really good at what I do. I do this because I understand the importance of focusing and not be all over the place. I choose YouTube as my platform and now I'm slowly testing forums. I know that there are a need of online marketers that are transparent with what they do and I'm here to fill that need. I believe that there are a lot of people that are struggling because they are all over the place. They don't have a specific focus and they are trying different methods. So what I want to do is to guide people in a direction that makes sense. However, this direction might not be super attractive. It is not a get rich quick promise. The get rich quick way of thinking is what makes you hop around and you get nowhere. I know it doesn't work and it will only give you pain and bad investments. Now check this out. At the end of the video, I will give you two traffic secrets that I use in my YouTube marketing. It will not only allow you to scale up traffic, but it will also help you build authority on your YouTube channel so that you eventually can rank for more competitive keywords. I will show you the results and I will also show you one important thing that you probably didn't know about, but that I will share at the end of the video. I will share my takes on these two questions and then I will go through the responses that I got. Without further ado, let's dive in into what I want to share with you today. So dopamine is a signal substance that is secreted by the brain and it will trigger motivation and cravings. It makes us pursue things, build things and create things. So let's work with the first question, how this can be used in marketing. This is of course in your content. So one guy here, pursue the dream or goal to become financially independent. So this guy starts an online business. Let's call this guy Jack. So Jack is now researching and are looking for training and education. So what happens is that Jack tries different directions and this is not what I recommend people to do. Anyway, this is what I believe most people are doing. They try different approaches, different methods, different techniques. Every method or technique is motivational and it triggers cravings. It is releasing dopamine, it is new. So when you get excited and motivated, you start to dig in into the content and you are letting yourself be led by the recommendations. So online marketers create content that is inspiring, that gives Jack even more motivation and craving. It is always in a positive tone. The goal is to overcome buyer's resistance. If you have seen a couple of online marketing blog posts or articles about online marketing, affiliate marketing, then you probably spotted that they post links to different proofs just to prove that they are right. You can check, for example, how people use Statista. I created a video about it. There is also a site called CNBC. This is just two examples. There are a lot more sites that online marketers leverage 
sites with high reputation that can strengthen whatever the content is about. But the goal is to lower the buyer's resistance. Like this is the marketing statistics showing it is easier than ever. Or this is what this multimillionaire said in an article on CNBC. So this triggers, of course, dopamine. And the more dopamine, the more Jack wanna pursue the dream or goal to be financially independent and the less resistance Jack have to make an investment. So in order to succeed, an online marketer claims that Jack need a bunch of resources. And of course, they are in the form of affiliate links. Now, tell me if you recognize this. You pursue different recommendations and you try for a while, but you don't get any results. Maybe you get visitors, but you don't get any sales. So then you go for the next method. And that is another recommendation similar to the first, but a different method. So all these are free content. They all claim to teach you a solution. And the more methods that you try, the less you start believing in them. Until to a point that you believe that everything is baloney. So in the beginning you have a lot of dopamine, a lot of cravings. And then your dopamine level decreases. And by the way, I have personally gone through all this. So I know that hopping around from one method to another is not the way to do it. Honestly, free content is really not free. Tell me if you recognize this. You don't have much dopamine. You don't have much cravings or motivation. So instead, you turn lazy and you just look around on social media and consume things. Don't really have a plan and you're not getting anywhere. Right, so this takes us to the second question. What is your recommendation to handle it safely? So what I want to share is the first thing, stop hopping around. Instead, decide for only one solution that people have success with, that many people use. And I'm not talking about a method. I'm talking about what are they selling? What are they recommending? Because there is no way around it. You need to sell something that you believe in. Meaning, don't sell random crap. Sell something that you build your business around. That is my recommendation. But if you happen to be in a situation where you don't have any motivation, you don't know what to do, and your dopamine levels are at the lowest, then the way to deal with it is to take a long break. You know that you can't continue hopping around from one method to another. So the only option is to take a long break and then go for something that you really believe in, that you decide that this is the thing that I'm going to build my skills around. It is a little bit like a jack of all trades, a master of none. Anyway, if you take a break, the dopamine levels will go back to normal. Also, I don't recommend that you work your ass off, but instead work on a routine. Take things slow and steady. Be consistent with content creation. Maybe you don't see or believe in what a long-time content creation can do thanks to a routine. Maybe you tried creating a lot of blog posts for several months and you see little to no results from that work. Well, first off, a couple of months is nothing. You need to have a strategy that you know will give results if you stick to it. And I'm talking about building authority and trust in the platform that you have chosen. I choose to trust YouTube and figure out how YouTube works, how the algorithm works. And this is something that I believe you can't learn in a week or in a month, no matter how many videos or educational content about that you go through. You have to really do it to get a feel for how it works. All right, so now I will go through the responses that I received and then I'm going to reveal my two traffic secrets. First response, Yaroslav N said, dopamine is not used in marketing. I think he misunderstood, maybe because I did such a crappy post, but I think he means as a performance booster, like a drug that you can buy. I know there are some drugs that can enhance dopamine. All right, so the formula for marketing, if you market drugs, starting with fear and low self-esteem. So that basically is an audience that needs something. A miracle solution is fill that need, proof that it is not too good to be true, 
basically I see this as not having any bad reviews. All right, the next response. I'm not sure which rewards exactly that you're referring to as there aren't so many rewards in marketing. We are more talking about some promotional activities and giveaways. I believe that we need to see this as two different sides or two different roles. As a customer, they don't see it as promotional activities and giveaways. I believe they see it as something exciting, something that they really want. And the brain rewards the customer with dopamine, making it even more exciting, right? But I don't really see them as rewards, more like bait for some actions. So as the role of a marketer, we can call whatever we give for free as bait. It all depends on what you feel the value is in what you give people for free. If it has a high value, then why call it a bait? I think we should call it something better. Right. For example, you give something for free, but ask users to sign to your newsletter. So there has to be a basic understanding that in order for you as a customer to receive something for free, then there has to be some ex exchange. You give me something for free and I'll give you something for free. And I think you explain that here. Let's say it is more like an exchange process and it can work pretty good really if executed properly. And that got me thinking that before someone signs up that we really need to be clear that the newsletter serves a purpose. It is not about sending people annoying emails in hope for that they buy more at a later time but it should be more like providing updates and giving them reminders why they signed up in the first place, helping the customer out. All right, next post from JR Biz. I think that some aspects of marketing loyalty programs and other marketing programs that utilize gamification fit your premise. Rewarding a customer for desired behavior in a clear and progressive manner can certainly raise feeling of certification success etc which may release dopamine so this is interesting because gamification is an excellent way to engage with your customers or users giving people different rewards if they do certain things that is fun and engaging one challenge of course is ending such a program and therefore stopping the rewards that buyers had become accustomed to and yes, I totally agree on that, especially if you had to really work for a long time to get to a level that really rewarded you. So sure, that would really suck. I think this is a great thought that you had, JR Biz. I thank you for that. Right, next response from Sarah K. She made a response to Yaroslav and said, and his or her posts were about more like using it as a drug if I'm not mistaken. So response is, oh, I think plenty do. Car ads are to make buyers feel better about the purchase, not to convince you to buy. So that's an interesting thought. Customers already know the brand. They already know what car they are looking for. And then when you're looking at the ad, the ad talks about why that car is the best choice. If you feel good about it, then you're more likely to spread the word. So that's an interesting way to not only spread the word about the car, but also spread the word about the brand. I'm thinking about when I'm looking for gadgets, cameras and drones, how they use a lot of power words in the article of a certain product. So the description of the product is like an ad itself. And I think that is very much about the buyer feeling better about their purchase. So the brain is definitely releasing dopamine if you feel good about your product. TV ads are all about making you want to be or occasionally not want to be the person in the ad. The anticipation of the clean house, the fabulous vacation. So for an e-commerce site, when you see other people buying the same thing, confirming I'm in the right place to buy. Absolutely, that releases dopamine. Courier companies update me on the progress of my parcel, building anticipation, 
you can't wait until you receive the product that you really really want this is an interesting thought how much dopamine depends on your product expensive purchase carefully thought out versus cheap purchase so do you mean that there is different marketing and that you have to really think about how you want to create the content and the ads that lead to the final purchase i'm thinking about instant rewards versus a really big reward that takes a long time to get there maybe i'm a little bit off tangent here but i know for expensive purchase it takes a longer time for the customer to buy and you have to really work hard on the selling so it's normally subscription based and and have a use of retargeting so basically what i think you mean is that for high ticket products it is more like a slow building dopamine process maybe i'm not wording it right but you know what i mean i hope anyway thank you for your comment sarah i really appreciate it so now i'm going to talk about the two traffic secrets that i promised to share in the beginning of the video all right so the first secret is to use a domain or service name in your title if you know that the domain or service name is somewhat popular then you can leverage that because you will have people searching for it what i want to reveal with you is if you don't have any luck with normal keywords then use service name or domain names and if you check here in the beginning of september 2020 it allowed me to scale up my traffic it is not very targeted traffic this traffic doesn't convert well but it allows you to build authority to your youtube channel right so secret number two is to use an intro hook an intro hook is if this is a video and in the beginning of the video you have an intro at the end of the video you have an outro then you have the content of your video and here you have something important that you think your audience would be very interested in to hear what you do is you mention this in the beginning of the video you can call it your secret or your two secrets when you do that people stick through the video because they want to hear about the secret or the two secrets this increases the watch time of your video and youtube take this into account recalculate it in the youtube algorithm and your video will rank higher if you can do this in all your videos then you start to build authority on your youtube channel and you will have much easier to rank for more competitive keywords now this is a blueprint how to get traffic to your youtube channel or to your blog but if you want to know how you can take these two steps or these two strategies and combine it with a method that will allow you to make money then check out the link in the description if you want to know how i use it in combination with my videos of course this is not a get rich quick solution it requires hard work and a lot of time but when you get really good at creating videos and delivering your message it will give you a decent side income and eventually it will allow you to quit your job and you will get a five six or seven digit earning in your online business so link in the description also connect with me if you want to know more about how i do this thank you for taking your time watching this video please click the like button if you got something of value also click subscribe and the bell notification if you want to get notified when i upload a new video anyway take care and i'll see you in my next video bye bye